why I don't believe in boosting content on social media is because to me numbers mean nothing. I would rather have seven people who love my content, who follow my content because they love what I do and what I say, rather than 70,000 people who are there just for numbers. Because ultimately, and I'm not even saying this because I'm very holier than thou or because I have any great idea in mind, simply because this is my idea that the algorithm works in such a way. If I post some content and these are purchased or, you know, boost garera follower lira ko manche haru. I'm talking only strategy wise, right? These people, like let's say I've got 5,000 people on my Facebook. Mm -hmm. Out of 5,000 people, seven are genuine followers that love my work and they are there for that. Everybody else has been paid and purchased to be and, yeah. you know, boost karyo post, sponsor karyo manche ayo. Facebook, in the first five minutes, the algorithm is going to show my content out of those 5,000 people to 50 people. Depending on how those 50 people engage with my content, Facebook is going to decide how valuable the content is. And based on whatever the algorithm gets from that five minute interaction with those 50 people who've been shared my content, it's going to show it to more people. Imagine Teti Kira, the mm -hmm. numbers are completely warped against me. If 5,000 baata, the 50 manche jo lai Facebook le dekhayo mero post, turns out to be those people who have just liked or followed my page because they were shown an ad and not because they love me. They'll never engage with my content. Which is why very often you have these pages and these people and these profiles that have tons and tons of likes, yet no engagement, yet no real conversation. So for me, I'm not running behind those numbers at all. Yes, it feels nice. Yeah, 50,000 likes, Asti Bhai Facebook. I was like, oh, ho. how did it feel when your uh, content got viral? Very good. At that point, felt very good. It was wow. organic? 100%. Yeah. yeah. I, I I didn't know how to do ads that time. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't even know how it was done. Yeah. As a summer touch wood, grateful pani uno parsa, ani ali kata skill ko pani kura hola. Everything, every follower, like, or whatever it is, is all organic. Mm. But that's because I understand the power of content. Okay? What teenagers need to understand, or what anybody needs to understand, is two things. Number one, if you are growing a brand, whether consciously or subconsciously, you need to provide content that is valuable to the other person. Mm -hmm. How do you add value to somebody's life? Three ways only. Number one, are they going to entertain them? You dance, you, you do something cute, funny, hilarious. People love that stuff. Dog videos, Total entertainment entertainment, videos. Yeah. entertain. Number two, you are informing them. So you're giving them valuable content wherein let's say you are talking about, okay, uh, you know, this is what we could do. This is how you can fix a tap. You can have, you know, it hacks, valuable content, informative content, things where you're teaching people, things where you're telling people. Educational. Okay, educational, mm -hmm. right? Number three, connect. Where you talk and you connect to people through your vulnerabilities, you connect through your stories, you connect through emotion. These are the three reasons and three ways of providing value to people.